Hi, I'm Jerry O'Donnell with Four Angels Messages, and I'm joined this morning with my son. Hi, I'm Seth. Together we're going to address another child's question, but before we begin, we're going to be start with prayer. Our Father, thank you so very much for this opportunity to spend in thy word. We pray for your Holy Spirit to be upon us, guiding us to see in thy scriptures the answers you would have for us, and I pray that we would be enlightened by thy Holy Spirit to know these things. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So, Seth, what's our question for today? Did Eve get what the devil promised? All right. We're going to turn in our Bibles to Genesis chapter 3, and we're going to take a look here at verse two verses. Uh, First, the promise that Satan states here in verse 5. Uh, Genesis 3, 5 says, For God doth know that in the uh, day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be open, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Uh, the promise is the, the focus on <clears throat> knowing good and evil evil, something reserved for uh, basically God himself to know. We are not to know evil. Now let's go down to verse 22 and find out what actually happened. In verse 22, the Bible says, And the Lord God said, Behold, the man is become as one of us. So to become like God's, and God is saying, we are now like one of them. How so? To know good and evil. Exactly what Satan promised. And now, lest he put forth his hand and take also the tree of life and eat and live forever. And then we know that uh, they are banished from the garden. So the promise of knowing good and evil was correct. You see, Satan combines truth and deception together. The deception is to have to deal with the consequences of now knowing evil. If we never knew evil, we would not be in this mess. Adam and Eve would still be alive. There would be no death, no sin, no anything. But because Satan dangled that out, Adam and Eve had to deal with the consequences of knowing good and evil. And the consequence was, now that you know of it, you're going to end up dying. And uh, uh, so the sad reality is, yeah, Eve got what she promised. She just wasn't ready for the consequences thereof. And uh, unfortunately, we are subject to those consequences even today. Thank God we have Jesus Christ, who is our Savior, that we may live throughout eternity. But that's a whole other different story. The bottom line is, Satan promised that we would know good and evil, and we do. So, that's the answer. Let's pray. Our Father, thank you so very much for the answer you've given to us. Uh, how I... I'm saddened that we, as human beings, do know what is the difference between good and evil. And too many times we continue this day to choose the evil, which means that we shouldn't be upset with Adam and Eve, because how many times have we chosen evil throughout our life when they simply made one big mistake at the beginning, casting us into this, uh, well, experience that we have. So I pray that we will cling to Jesus, look for the, forward to the promise, another promise that is, and that of eternal life. Help us, I pray in Jesus' name, amen.